Thank you. Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and I'm the founder and owner of TechView Snelp and today I am going to get into a quick Windows tutorial. Now as far as this goes, if you run into any major problems, say a blue screen or some weird things going on, well I am going to try to show you a generalized tip on how to see if um, basically you got a corrupt file on on the operating system stuff um, without going into deep detail basically it could be multiple things within the operating system itself causing a problem and this is a way to check it and get it fixed immediately you'll find the same thing on other operating systems so it's not just on Windows that you'll find this you can easily find checkers on pretty much uh, almost most operating systems including Linux and OS X so in case if you've never been to this channel or the videos before of mine well basically what I try to cover is simple how to's or tips and tricks dealing with technology to help others with technology problems or maybe making their life a little bit better dealing with technology so one example of this is I'm in the middle of answering someone's question and basically they go into that they're having problems where the computer is not working all of a sudden and um, yeah they're, they're asking for possible solutions now something like this could be a thousand things under the sun and it's <laughs> It's not a joke on that. And I think they, based on this part, they think the battery part is the issue. And the truth of the matter is, is five, ten years ago, that, that or maybe it's something else, I don't know. Five, ten years ago, what used to happen is the um, chargers used to have a problem with the battery where it will overcharge the battery cause a um where the battery doesn't last as long but even then i don't, I don't see how that correlates with one or the other today if, uh you're, you're really talking about modern computers today you're not really going to have that problem at all uh, unless if you've got some off-brand weird thing that you paid very little for a very counterfeited machine maybe then maybe that would be a problem or um, like like these um, hoverboard things where they're using the, the newest uh, lithium batteries in there they don't have regulators and stuff like that they're trying to push it out cheap as possible and and they skip over some things in in those cases because it's not a united states manufacturer or united states based company selling it that has to fall by actual legal regulations um, in those cases you can still have problems but Lenovo's not a or Tosobi is not a uh, company that would do something like that because it's a United States company and um, they have to fall by some laws so with that um, I'm going to leave a link to this in case you want to add more into the answer and um, and if you want to tack on any information if you're having the same problem but um, and, and that's a big thing with my channel is I try to have a good community where you as a viewers can independently help out each other and, um, and yeah so one way to fix this is if you can try to put your computer in safe mode and um so after a blue screen or something like this or whatever put it in safe mode and you need to make sure you have a administrator account now with this what you're going to do is you're going to go and right if, if you're on windows 10 right click the uh, start button go to Control or uh, go to command prompt admin, or you can just search CMD and then right click run as administrator. 
to get to coloring by the way just go to properties color there you go so with this what you need to do is i'll have the commands down below but i'm just going to give you a generalized so you can see everything because it does tell you what it does if you just type out sfc so this is the um, system file checker tool the thing basically checks between what's on your computer and what's on microsoft servers or uh, on other parts depending on, on on stuff and then you got dism and this is the deployment image and servicing managing tool so the sfc this is what you'll need to run first and it's specifically that command the scan now but if you just type out sfc then you'll get a list of what this is about what this particular tool is about and, and keep in mind it's in command prompt it's automatically on the computer and it's it's there so you don't have to do anything weird to get it and then it tells you what each command does so you can actually see what each one does and see if um, you want it to repair and stuff and as you see here the scan now is scans and it repairs files when possible so given that that's not success or or um, you want to go further you can go to dism and as you can see here it goes a lot further but what you want to do and i'll have the command and this one you probably want to just paste in by just doing a right click on here and, and pasting stuff in but you want to use the following command and as you see here you can get each little thing so for example it says the um online and you can see what it says you can see the other commands on it and again you will have a generalized description on what it does and all that stuff so if you want to educate yourself or at least get a good idea of what tools you're dealing with so you can trust the stuff a bit more you can easily do that and it's a good practice to know what you're dealing with so you can go straight to the tools that you need for future instances especially if you're going to this as a career field but uh with that those two things are uh, are, are, are pretty lengthy as far as how long it takes for it to get done so expect anywhere from five to thirty minutes potentially it could take longer it's not really heard of for it taking more than 30 minutes 30 minutes is a pretty long time for stuff but uh, with this on, on both of them especially the dsim or dism the thing with both of them is it will look like they get stuck on certain percentages and this is actually normal but with DISM, it, it will happen more so, and it'll look like it will get stuck at the 25-ish mark around around that point. And that's normal. And again, it just takes a long time. Now, many people will tell you the F, SFC, once you do that, if um, that repairs and everything, you don't have to restart personally i say still and the everybody says if you go with the dism then you need to restart in that way it will take place of of any major changes so again with both of these no matter what they do at the end you want to just restart the computer if possible and that way it takes place any changes that it has made now another thing is is um i can't show it because i can't have a record recording when it, the recorder is not even up since the operating system won't be up but uh, you can try doing a 
system restore or reset if it's a operating system failure. But one thing to keep in mind is the biggest reason why you'll do the SFC command or the other is if you've got some blue screens or some weird stuff like this person has. But even with that, uh, some of the stuff like blue screens, you can correct software wise usually. But with some of this weird stuff, there's many things that can cause it. Um, water being poured on a piece of hardware where it's working sometimes and not working others. I've seen that a few times. Um, there, there's many things out there that can cause that. And that's that's a big thing to keep in mind is with some of these things. Um, it, it, it's, it could even be the age. So, for example, you have lag input. So this is one thing that gamers try to prevent as much as possible. Uh, basically, in a nutshell, is and there's a few names for it, but basically, you move your mouse. It doesn't matter how far, and then it takes milliseconds afterwards for your computer to register it into the game, and then it does its thing. In the real world, it, that's not a problem because, okay, I'm on the Word document, I'm typing things out, I'm recording or doing whatever. Milliseconds ain't really going to matter to me or many other people. But in games where, especially first-person shooters, that's a very critical hit-or-miss type of thing. So um, that's one thing to keep in mind. Age can play a part of it. Many things can play a part. But anyways, with that one in mind, if you got any questions on this or anything else, then please feel free to let me know, and I'll try to answer it as quickly as possible. Again, stuff will be down there in the description. While you're down there, leave a like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you in the next video, and hope you have a great day.